A-I-T-A. Am I the a-hole for being jealous of an unborn baby? My partner and I have recently found out I'm pregnant, and we are very excited. All has been fine, except he keeps throwing in comments like, you're not number one anymore, and, you're not as important etc. Logically I get it, but every time it's said I feel like an incubator not a person, I'm just here to give him what he wants. We were discussing me coming off my medication today, my midwife says she doesn't want me to come off it until I'm on something else, because I'm more important. I said this and he replied, well I'm sorry. I disagree with that. You're not number one anymore. Safe to say I freaked and started shouting. I told him he needed to stop saying that, as jealousy over a baby is common, he is making me resent the baby before it's even here, and I am more important, because if I'm not here you don't get either of us. He told me off for shouting at him, and threatened to kick me out the car while saying, if you're jealous over a baby you need to get checked, along with other things I can't remember. Now the kicker to this is, my medication is to control my borderline personality disorder, which is characterized by unstable relationships and fear of abandonment. He knows this, yet he has carried on. I don't even want this baby anymore. Am I the a-hole for feeling like this? Am I the a-hole for freaking out at him? Edit. Edited to add that I have suffered a silent miscarriage. I got scanned today, which showed baby has no heartbeat and stopped growing at 8 weeks. Special thanks to those on Reddit who wished for it, or those that commented how my baby was fraught. You got your wish, you were right. Genuine thanks to everyone who offer genuine emotional support and care. I am grateful. NTA. Not the a-hole. He's treating you like a walking incubator not a person. It's not your baby fault though. Even without a personality disorder you would still need TLC, reassurance, your body is now a hormonal war zone and going through so many changes. He also threatened to kick you out of the car. Please rethink being with this person. I also hate to break it to him, but you're going to be the most important person in the world to your baby. Listen to your midwife and other medical advisors not him, stay on your medication. NTA. How old are you guys? He sounds like a child. Shouldn't be teasing a pregnant woman. I'm 26 and he is 23. Partner should always be the number one. Kids grow up to be their own persons, and to lead their own life at some point. Love of your life will be with you until the end. NTA. Let's break this down. His comments are making you feel like an incubator, not a person. He doesn't seem bothered by this. He seems to think your well-being is unimportant, and will overrule somebody with more medical knowledge than he has. He threatened to kick you out of the car, because he didn't like the way you were behaving. He seems to lack the forethought to realize, that your health has an impact on the health of your unborn child. He refuses to admit that you may be acting the way you are, because he's making you feel unimportant, and puts it all down to you being emotional slash jealous. He is prioritizing an unborn life, to the extent that he is completely ignoring you are a living, breathing human being with needs too. He is indicating that what he thinks this child needs will always come above you, your needs, and your feelings on the matter. All of this makes you NTA. AITA. Am I the a-hole for ruining a couple's honeymoon and embarrassing them? Every year, my mom, sister, and I go on a girl's trip to the beach since we own a beach house in SEA. In the community, each plot is allotted a certain portion of the beach, specifically the length directly in front of each house. All the homeowners are generally very friendly, plus rules are set in place by the association to avoid trespassing, so nobody has to worry about anyone coming into their beachfront getting trashed. There are hilltop houses too, but they only have access to the public beach. Last summer, we arrived and my mom and sister crashed because of the long flight, 12 hours. I was in charge of setting up the beachfront. 
We store our beach furniture when the house is not in use, so I had to pull them out of storage alone in the middle of the night, drag them to the beach, and arrange them in the dark. It took about an hour to do. The next morning, we decided to stay in the whole morning, and head to the beach in the afternoon. When we finally decided to make our way down, I was surprised to see beer bottles, trash, towels, and bags that weren't ours scattered across the beach. The tables and chairs had been rearranged, and the beach beds were moved closer to the water. At this point, everyone was confused and annoyed, most especially me. We could hear voices coming from the beach beds, so my mom and sister walked back to call the police to handle the trespassers. Me on the other hand? Well, I'm like my dad, and since I didn't like the fact that they had trashed the place, I wanted to give them a piece of my mind. On the beds was a couple live streaming, bragging about spending their honeymoon at their private beach house. I said something along the lines of, Excuse me, why are you here? You're trespassing on private property, and the police are on the way to escort you out. Of course, instead of apologizing, they told their fans that they had no idea who this kid is and that I must be mistaken, plus I should leave because I was the one trespassing. I repeated, even louder this time, you are trespassing. You have trashed our private beach front. Please collect your things while we wait for the police. At this point, they're frantically screaming at me after ending their live stream, saying that I've ruined their honeymoon and that I was a stuck-up bitch. When the police arrived, they had run away, but the community is pretty small so we found them pretty quickly. The girl's family owned a hilltop house, and wanted to have a beach all to themselves, so they walked the beach, the public and private beach are connected, but there is a piece of rope separating it, people usually don't climb over it, and settled on ours. They were eventually fined, but my mom tells me that I shouldn't have made a fuss, and left it to the authorities. So, A-I-T-A? Am I the A-hole? N-T-A? Not the A-hole. I wouldn't waste another thought on these idiots. You didn't ruin their honeymoon. They are mad that they were caught out on a lie with witnesses. You should deliver the trash they left to their door too. NTA. LOL, you handled it the best possible way and applied the IRL filter to their live stream. I'd file a police report for littering and trespassing. It is disgusting how tourists treat other people's homes, because it is an hashtag Instagrammable backdrop to their fever dreams. They could at least have asked to take pictures or videos at your place, but littering? Bottles. Possibly broken glass in the sand on my property? They can be glad I didn't bring out the broom like my mum would have. NTA. What a couple of entitled asshats. You handled it very well. They were trashing your private beach and your property. The only things ruining their honeymoon, was their huge egos and massive entitlement. Glad the police found them. In what frocking world would you be the a-hole for asking two publicity-begging, immature, disrespectful and outright duty people to not use and claim your property? I mean honestly, how low can people get these days? It's like a Karen story, but the husband-slash-boyfriend is also a piece of shoot. <laughs>